brothers welcome back to territorial.io we're starting off today here in 125 player free-for-all battle here in europe full sitting is allowed we have started in kind of my uh, go-to spot unfortunately in a very crowded neighborhood we have Vichy france and then Messi above us as well as turkey so we're gonna have to apparently go down south i don't know i have to kind of get a moment to zoom out here it's uh what i kind of love and hate about like when it's above 100 players is you get like half a second to respond to where you are and just be able to go from there so we are in a good spot we're actually able to go up north which is wonderful so let's continue on our infinite growth path here just get a little greedy as turkey and Messi are both fighting each other or at least they were so that's good for me so i can just grab this land vici france immediately attacks me okay i will remember that so what do we do when we get attacked in the early game we just ignore it baby let's go <laughs> we just pretend like it's not there and then we'll just continue oh i was really hoping to squeeze through that bot uh and i accidentally attacked Messi. <laughs> well dang it okay uh so where do we have opportunities to go we have some a little bit of bots up north that's good so we'll just continue on this front path Vichy France is really going into the muffin man okay Turkey's going down never mind no, Turkey's fine France is going down we're gonna go attack France <laughs> just like a chicken with my head cut off here just going absolutely insane but yeah France is still a good target we're gonna take him out rather quickly and then maybe up north even more yes indeedy this is a great target and you are good too let's just go ahead and grab your land and look at that we're in first place baby uh, everyone around us was just incredibly aggressive we were able to capitalize on it so there we go we're able to kind of be able to uh maximize our opportunities we'll get some truces out there we're doing very good i got a text message hate that <laughs> right when i'm recording anyways uh turkey got attacked by the british empire that's interesting brother that's interesting i would also like to attack turkey but the day in people's front is pretty strong Maybe I could just get a little taste, though, you think? Just a little taste for the boys? <laughs> that would be full sense on Messi. Let's go. Huge. And now we could probably go into Messi, too. But I don't know if I want to do that quite yet because Judean is right below me. But I have more troops than him now. I don't know. Egg's going to get big. Look at how big Egg is over there in Scandinavia. Ottoman Empire is also, like, incredibly weak for how many troops he has. It's kind of a tough decision just to be able to like sit back and be like i need to save let's be responsible corgi let's think of but it's, it's real tempting it's 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 yeah it's it's too tempting we just gotta go look at, look at look at how much land he has look at all of that land that could then be ours truce with you by the way <laughs> just so i don't uh, accidentally go into a dangerous situation yay we get a truce with about your eggs left the game okay very interesting yuri's in on this as well that's super wonderful no oh, i was just about to say as long as we don't eat the full scent here we're gonna be fine and nope we did cool 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 we're not gonna be at 60,000 or anywhere close to deutschland uh hey <laughs> you might have attacked for too many troops yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. let's just go ahead and take out deutschland and grab the land that we were promised we were supposed to have gotten but alas we did not oh we missed out on messy below that's okay we got a lot of land up here in the north it makes up for it we might even get the crown back here nope that's perfectly fine though because i'm oh these are not good these are not defensible board yeah let's we'll just make it worse let's just <laughs> but it's free it's free land like bot yuri can only go westward through me or like way down south so i have to keep that in mind and with that being said truce no oh, truce <laughs> and uh yeah yuri i'm sorry brother um it's just the fact that you're so weak and that I could bully you. <laughs> oh, maybe not so much anymore, but maybe others will join it. I got to commit to this now. There's no way that me and this guy don't go to head to head at some point. And I just feel like I have to fight this now. So if we can bait out an early full send or at least using the bot to our side, somebody else might join in. Hopefully no one joins in against me as we are, we're just going to continue to keep fighting down yuri and preventing him from grabbing easy land fighting off drew no brother we got to go up north up here yeah up here ssi getting that land's not that bad uh you're getting that land is very bad yuri's not that much weaker than me and that's concerning um but there's another bot hey another bot so we just continue this attack which we maybe shouldn't have started on yuri but at the same time i'm feeling confident about it because we can if we can take him down dude we we win this game it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty easy streaks from here but of course we do need to take him down 
And he, if he full sends us, that's going to be really painful. That's going to be a really bad full send, brother. I don't know if I should continue this, but especially where there's like a, people who only have a million. But maybe SSI wants to help out. He's in fifth place. He might be replacing one problem with another. SSI is actually getting pretty big. He's offering a truce. A uh, truce with SSI for sure. And what if I just expand it a little? Call me crazy. What if I just got a little bigger? Like my advantage over Yuri was just a little tiny, tiny bit more. What do you think about that? Okay, there's a full sense. That worked out tremendously to our favor. So now we have a ton of land right before the Muffin Man was able to boat up there. And there's another full send. Oh, this is working out to our favor very well. Huge opportunities for us. Okay, now we are incredibly large. Yuri is uh, trying to come back at us. No, 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 British Empire. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. British Empire, you might have weakened yourself a little bit too much. Hey, Judean, do you want to go up to this guy? There's the full send on me. Okay, crazy. Uh, you probably could have won that fight. But hey, I'll take I'll take the dubs. I'll take the dubs. Yuri, once again, offering a truce. Crazy how that works once your ally full sends out of nowhere, right? I don't think that truce is going to go through. So we're just going to go back into attacking bot Yuri. Hopefully SSI wants to join in at this point because we are definitely going to get full sent on by Yuri which I imagine is what SSI is waiting for. So we will just kind of try and weaken this full send as much as we can while also keeping our strength up as much as possible to prevent that full send from really hurting. I do see the Muffin Man is incredibly weak. I would really love to go into that. Judean people's also very weak. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think we just got to commit. This guy's already shown the moment we turn our back, he's going to attack us. And what are we going to do? Put ourselves against someone who's much stronger? No. It, it might have been a mistake to attack, but hey, we can just continue on this path. Who says you can't commit to a mistake? <laughs> We're just going to keep going into Yuri. Yuri's weak enough at this point where he makes sense as a target. So it's not that. It's not all bad. Now he's threatening to boom. That's not even the worst of it. So we're at 60,000. If we can maintain above 60,000, we get faster to 60,000 after the boom. We can still get more land than SSI and still be a threat. Let other people worry about the threats in the middle. Maybe this wasn't a mistake. Maybe this is a tactical play. Yeah, let other people worry about what's going on in the middle. We consolidate our borders. SSI just attacked me. Why? <laughs> oh, you monster. Um, Yuri wants a truce? No, it's over. Oh, yeah, sure. We can have a truce. We can just pretend that like that boat didn't happen for like two seconds until I destroy Yuri and then I'm definitely attacking you consolidating borders even more committing to more mistakes muffin man's in on this brother <laughs> somebody <laughs> somebody honor a truce oh boy okay we yeah we're in it we're, we're in it boys we're in it okay uh do you want to go into this guy what do you think uh yes no my only ally remaining yes we'll take that truce yuri um judean people do you want to attack anybody who you feel we could all attack the muffin man together take a truce with ssi even though he's definitely gonna betray it see if we can incentivize anybody to attack the muffin man do you want to go into the muffin man you want to go into the muffin man what are we thinking i don't think corgi's going to join because he's right next to the crown and we'll just we're just we're just going to go all ham all hams on deck there we go Yuri, if you want to attack me you can't oh corgi's become a bot oh great that takes the muffin man out of the equation it does replace the muffin man with the corgi bot but hey maybe we can get some land out of that so let's quickly take out this Yuri guy who's just like, why don't you attack over there? He's like, well, why are you attacking me every time? No, no, no. This makes perfect sense. I'm perfectly okay with this. This is still a good move. So now that we've gotten Yuri almost out of the way and the bot is getting depleted by a number of people, not us, we're going to be able to get a little bit of land here in Scandinavia. More importantly, we're going to have better borders. Yes, we've fallen off the leaderboard ever so slightly, but you know, we fixed a mistake and that's what counts. We committed to something and we finished. There we go. He's out of the game. Good. All right. Mission accomplished. Now we go into this Corgi bot and we grab all of his land. And then we have to decide who we attack next. The Muffin Man or SSI. These are both great targets. What I'm thinking is I leave the Muffin Man because he's got to deal with the crown, brother. Let the crown deal with that. Yeah, Poland, you have go wild. Go buck wild. I've got great borders on the Muffin Man and I'm just going to attack SSI, I think. Poland wants a truce? Yeah, he wants a truce because he wants to attack the Muffin Man. Perfectly fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and finish off SSI over here. Start working him down. 
Hopefully this guy falls into me right away. Oh, and he does. Let's go. Huge, huge opportunity. We're at 60,000 more than any of our neighbors. So we're very large. The Muffin Man immediately attacks and then immediately withdraws. It's like, oh, cool. Yeah, guys, you gotta, you gotta realize when your ally full sits, it's not a good time to attack somebody. And now we have the crown. Now we lost the crown. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, sure, buddy. We can do that. I don't know who you're telling me to attack. Uh, betray equals full sin. Yeah, actually, that's kind of in my wheelhouse. I want to get through this guy and then go into betray equals, betray me equals full sins. And then we can have some good borders with a strong player that we could potentially take out rather quickly. Because the Muffin Man still got to deal with Poland. Poland still got to deal with the Muffin Man and BIS Tobinator. So I'm feeling pretty optimistic about at least weakening this guy to the point where we can get a good chunk of his land. Now, Poland could potentially turn around and grab all this land if this guy full sends me, but that honestly wouldn't be the worst, I don't think. I don't know. Depends on where the borders are. But I could have... Oh, there's a full send. Oh, it's on Judean people's front. Okay, go, 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 go. Huge, 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 huge. Okay, we're over at 150,000, so we're moving very fast. Judean, I'm sorry. I got to grab your land. It was just my, it was me or Muffin, but good game to you, sir. And uh, Tobinator does cut us off. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't want us to be cut off. Ooh, I understand how this game's being played, but I'm not going to let it be played like that. He wanted me to have borders on Poland. No, sir, Rebob. That's not how I'm going to operate. So now we have a very great choice. Yes, I'll take a truce with you now that you have been forced into being my friend because of Poland, being a scary man and being trapped between two the two strongest players. I'm going to go into Muffin Man. Yeah, vengeance has been long overdue. Now, this will give me some pretty... Board, um, unfortunate borders with oh there's the full scent on somebody who was it it wasn't me oh let's go huge 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 okay we are slightly smaller than our two ally or two people that we're fighting um i don't know do we try and peace out from here do we fight poland we could take down poland but we'd have to go like right now i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait but just peace. Oh, wait, you full sent. Okay. I was like, I didn't really want to attack either of them. I was like, I was strong enough to take them down, but they were both my allies. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm cool with trucing with Poland. Um, what's, what, yeah, what's just truce out? We got 60% of the land. So GG's on this one as we give the kissy face for the boys. We'll look for the peace here in a Poland that portrays us. We'll attack him, but we'll say GG's on this one. Vote for peace. And then move on to the next game. All right, next game up is going to be a 29 player teams battle here on the island. We're on the green team. I saw that there was at least one other Corgi in this one. So I'm very excited. Let's go Korgs. I put on the Corgi tag for this one. I kind of have gotten out of the habit of playing solo. Not because it's like harder or easier, because I feel honestly like really weird about like fighting my clan members. <laughs> So I'm just like, let's just play with them. It's just like, it's not really that big of an advantage. Like, I don't even know if it's really an advantage, but at the same time, who cares? Like, I don't join the ones that have like 10 plus Corgis in them. It's just like, if it's one or two, it's like perfect. That sounds fun. So we'll go from here and just kind of hope for the best. We are on the green team. What do we, what are we looking for? Well, we do have Android user 963 down below. That we need to keep an eye on. I do see Corgi 69 is over to the uh, right of us, which is great. Or we don't have, really have to worry about expanding over that direction as much, but that's kind of where opportunity is arising, at least at this moment. Uh, I really want to push over to Android user, but the bots over there are not really super cooperating. So we'll just continue to keep going down south. There's a little bit of opportunity in the in the west, excuse me. And so now we'll just push into bot lane. That's a really good bot for us to get. There we go. And this is another really good bot for us to get as we do have an early crown, which is wonderful. And our Corgi friend is right behind us. So that is also very good on the leaderboard. And there we go. So we will be looking like we'll be touching uh, two players on the Scion team, um, one player on the red team. And that's great because the Scion player, one of the Scion players is rather weak. So that's good for us. Our Corgi brethren is rather strong. He's off to a great start himself. That's awesome. All right. So looking around, um, we could go into somebody right now. The red team is going to be a threat for sure. Uh, Void over there is rather big. So hopefully Corgi 69 can hold the line a little bit. Come on, world is incredibly weak. Oh, there's another Corgi. Okay. Hey, bud. Um, can you deal with that? Like, I'll give you money, but that's a problem you got to deal with like right now. Oh, he's going down. So, brother, um, 
Okay, he's going up north. Good, 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 good. Oh, a little bit of free land. I was misplaying. We, we'll go into this guy. This is also a very weak player. This also allows us to do some big damage to the red team. This is a huge, huge must for us. Maybe I can get over there to come on world and help fight down that guy because he's, well, he's not that strong anymore. Okay, so I'm I'm second place. <laughs> boop, boop is first place. And we're in a very commanding position as a team. We're doing very well for ourselves. Now, anti-woke could potentially ruin my day ever so slightly. So I do need to be cautious about that. I don't want to offer him a truce because like, I'm not going to obviously honor the truce in a, tr in a team game. So I feel bad about honoring truces that like I have no intention of ever keeping unless it's because like you attack me and I'm going to secretly attack you here in a minute, just like in the last game. But let's go into come on world. This is a good target for us to get. And it mostly will feed the crown. Yeah, exactly. So we're strong. The crown is strong. We're strong together. Apes together strong. There we go. And uh, we can go ahead and grab Canada's land right there. So things are looking good. Good job, buddy. We're doing great. We're in command of this game. Uh, my boat didn't land because Canada apparently full sent me and tries to do so again. Okay. No problem on that front. We'll just reland that boat. Grab the rest of that land he took from us. And there we go. So we need to save up here a little bit. Um, our Corgi69 friend is sitting at red. Oh, no. He's getting attacked. Oh, no. My void. Ooh, Void's gonna be strong. I'll give you some money. I don't have like a ton to spare. I'm a little worried. I don't know if I can save him either. We just gotta wait for Corgi Poop to be able to finish things off. I could go into Anti-Woke Empire really quickly. Nope, that's kind of out of the options right now is Void is, yeah, we just gotta fight Void. We have to fight Void right now. He's stronger than us. Ooh, I'm gonna need some help here, Mr. Crown. Mr. Crown, if you could just quickly bail me out that'd be super appreciated i couldn't bail out our friend oh big attack by void okay and here's the anti-woke empire yep as is expected um mr crown mr crown can you i don't know what you're doing i see that you boated down into gigam okay the, i think that's the aggies the texas a and m aggies yeah pretty sure all right ag away i guess well, he's going into Gigum, so maybe we could just hold the line here. But we are getting help attacking Void, which is at least distracting him. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I think we hold. I think we hold. I think we're in a bad spot. But anti-woke, wait a minute. Don't attack me with so little troops. Let's just get this guy out of here. We were losing land to Void, but the crown has got this. He just needs to kind of focus in on a target a little bit and attack for a little bit more because he's got five times... He's got basically more troops than everybody else combined at this point. So there he goes. We just need to be patient here. Hold the line for Corgi. And as soon as he's done uh, with Gigum, he'll be able to go into Void. I don't know why he's attacking for like five troops. Uh, brother, if you watch this, you can definitely just finish him off here. You're playing a little bit passively. And if Void was to take me out, this would be very bad news bears. But we're actually able to get a little bit bigger than Void. So uh, we can. We now have the advantage on him, which is wonderful. Jamaica full sent uh, Mr. Corgi. Um, you can grab that land, sir. There he goes. Okay. So now we're bigger than Void. We can come to our own defense and we'll start taking down Void right here, right now. Doing as much damage as we can. He realizes it's over. Game is done. And he leaves and becomes a bot. So we will just kind of play wrap up crew here, taking out this guy. We do have a truce with Attic. I'm not sure if uh, Corgi is friends with that guy or not, but we're friends with him. So, you know, we got that going for us. And he's not friends with this guy. All right. Well, we'll take out, help take out this guy as well as so we get full sent. And that's the end of the uh, enemy teams. We just have the blue team, but we'll say GG's to all involved. We'll say we're looking for a piece. We're happy with our borders. Give a kissy face for the boys and look to wrap things up. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this fun episode. If you have made this fun episode, hey, give it a thumbs up. Really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put videos every day. And a special thank you to all of my members with executive producer Rod Suka Robert, Miskits the Mallard, 137KQGL, In My Element, Mason Slash Aurelius, Rob Coleman, Uther Ekomna, and Tomato TG, and of course, channel sponsor Daniel Stevens. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.